Stay calm, oh. Wufu. Huh? Jumping makes it even more dangerous. Mm. Mm. So, how can an elevator go up and down, Dr. Wood? <laughs> I'll explain to you. Let knowledge click. An elevator works quite simply. It's like a box that moves up and down inside the building. <laughs> So, can it go sideways too? Of course! Oh. It can't even go diagonally! Uh. Ooh. Wow. Inside Ooh. the elevator, <laughs> there is Ooh. a smart moto system! When you press the floor button, the moto on the top of the building turns, pulling the elevator up and down with a super strong cable! But... Oh. That's not even the coolest part! To stop the elevator from being too heavy when lifting people up high! Engineers add a partner behind the elevator called the counterweight. The counterweight is a big block of metal. When the elevator goes up, the counterweight goes down, and vice versa. Thanks to this, the motor only needs to use half the effort. It's just like when I play on the seesaw at the playground. If both sides are the same weight, it's so easy to play, right? That's right. Ooh. The counterweight helps Yay. the elevator stay balanced ah. just like that. Besides, modern elevators also have an emergency brake. When the elevator has a problem, it will stop to protect the oh. people inside. At that moment, don't jam around or bang on the door because this could make the elevator shake more and cause serious trouble. The right thing to do is stay still, oh. keep calm, and mm -hmm. press the red emergency Whoa. button. <laughs> the technicians will come to rescue you right away. Inside oh. the elevator, there is a secret helper that always makes it easier to go up and down. Who is it? A. Wufu's mom. B. A robot hidden in the wall. C. Counterweight. Hmm. Uh -huh. Counterweight, like the seesaw. Very good. That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. <laughs> oh no! Monster! It's eating the sun! <laughs> That's a solar eclipse, not a monster. But don't look at it with your bare eyes. Uh, why, Dr. Hoot? Do you want to know what it is? Let knowledge click! Usually, sunlight comes straight to Earth, but sometimes the moon moves in front and blocks the sun. That's a solar eclipse. It's like when I make shadows on the wall with a flashlight, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> there are three types of solar eclipse. Total eclipse, partial eclipse, ring-shaped eclipse, call an annular eclipse. So, what are these glasses for, Dr. Hood? On a normal day, if you happen to glance at the sun, your pupil gets tiny because the light is so bright. That helps protect your eyes. During a solar eclipse, the sun looks dim, so your pupils stay wide. It feels safe to look, but the sun's harmful rays are still there. Those rays can really hurt your eyes. It's like using a magnifying glass to burn paper. Your eyes can handle that. Oh. <laughs> That's why you need these special glasses. So what if we don't have these glasses? <gasps> you can use the pinhole projector. The sunlight goes through a tiny hole and shows the eclipse on the paper. You'll look at the paper, not at the sky. 
They block almost all the strong rays from the sun. We got it! Wufu, time for dinner. <laughs> it's not dinner time yet, Mommy. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I wish there were only days and not nights. Huh? Oh. Do you know why there's day and night? Let knowledge play. He took the sun's spot. Hmm. Huh? That isn't true, Wufu. The sun disappears at night because of how the earth rotates. <laughs> you see, the earth is constantly rotating on its axis. One full rotation takes 24 hours, which makes one whole day. When one half of the earth faces the sun, gets sunlight, and we call that daytime. The other half hidden from the sun is in darkness, and that's night time. Did you know there's a place on Earth where the sun doesn't set for weeks, even months? It happens in places near the North Pole or South Pole, like Norway, Sweden, Alaska, or Antarctica. I wish I could be there. It can actually be very tiring if there's only day or night. If there were no night, it would mean the sun was shining all day, all year long. That would make where we live extremely hot. Likewise, if there were no daytime, we would have to endure the cold all year round. <laughs> oh. oh, wow! Oh. <laughs> oh. Why does the moon keep uh, following me? Uh. Do you huh? kids know why uh. the moon seems to follow us? Mm. Let knowledge click! <laughs> when we move, things that are closer to us appear to move faster. <laughs> like street lights or nearby cars. Mm. Objects that are farther away, like trees or mountains appear to move more slowly. This phenomenon is called the parallax effect. Now, let's talk about the distance between Earth and the Moon. The Moon is very far from the Earth. About 384,400 kilometers away. Oh. At this distance, your angle of view toward the Moon hardly changes, which make huh? it looks like it's staying still, no matter uh, where you go. So that means I can't outrun the moon, right? Huh? <laughs> the moon orbits the Earth at the speed of about 3,683 kilometers per hour. Ah. If you <laughs> imagine you and the moon are racing, there's no way you could keep up with the speed. Uh. Not only is the moon far away, but it's also really huge. It can make you feel like you can see the moon everywhere you go. I got it! <laughs> Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel.